Hello, new friends. My name is Fred. The words you hear are in my head. I say I said, my name is Fred. And I've been... very naughty. The story I'm about to tell, I tell you I will tell you well, is of my sweet aunt Muriel. And just how I've been... naughty. Voila, the far, my aunt lives here, with precious pup and husband dear. My heart beats fast as I draw near. I feel so nice. And naughty. I thought just how excited they must be that I would come today. They'd shout, come Fred, huzzah, hooray! Dear boy, you look so... Naughty. That's when my tired eyes beheld a doggy dog like dog he smelled. D O G is what he spelled. And that's how I spell. Naughty. Alone was I with tender courage, and all his spur, his furry courage, which I'd say did encourage me to be quite naughty. Courage. Your hair. It reminds me of the first time I knew just how I felt about hair. It was a day I'd not forget. The day I first met my pet. Oh, what a lovely gift to get. I'd never felt so... Naughty. My furry friend is what he was. This darling little ball of fuzz. And oh, such fuzz, such fuzz it does. Demand that I... Be naughty. He looked at me, his fetching eyes, and fetching fur did hypnotize, and filled with joy, and filled with sighs, and that's when I got naughty. Now, now, you shouldn't play in the toilet. This dripping hair, this dripping curl, unfold sweet memories of a girl. Whose tresses, oh, they twist and twirl, and tempt me to be naughty. Barbara, my love, was named, and her fair hair a mane untamed. Until one evening, I'm ashamed, I got a little naughty. The look upon my love, young love face was sweet as lace, but in this case, I realized she needed space. I never more was naughty. Well, maybe not never. Dear cur, your fur and fleece remind of nothing found in humankind, but for one fellow who did find me to be in a certain mood. In my shop he walked one day, with bush above and beard bouquet. That's no toupee, I pray. No way. I could help but be... You know... I've never seen such hair before. His bangs, they sang, his neck, it beckoned. Eyebrows, armpits, um, Eyebrows, armpits, they all reckoned. Soon I figured, what the heck? And guess how I was... Naughty. Sweet pooch, afraid I'd shave your tail? Why now? That would be weird. Huh. So ends our little story. But then my landlords did resume to free me from that porcelain tomb and bury me to a private room, your hero, ever Dotty. Goodbye, dear aunt, I'll miss your farm, and Eustace's ebullient charm, and farewell courage. What's the harm, if I was slightly 
naughty. With love, Fred.